Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and this is kind of a user requested video. I know a lot of people have said, give us a room tour or a desk tour. Well, my desk is in the corner of a room and I have everything that I like own in my room because I'm getting ready to get married in the summer and trying to pack everything into one room and it's just a mess right now. And so I figured a little tour of the equipment that I use when I make my videos would be just as good. And so first we just want to start out with the main star of everything that I record right now, the Canon T3i. And I'm going to try to share this on my iPad. Um, and I don't know how well it's going to be. I can see it a little bit here in the monitor that I'm looking at. Um, that's my Canon T3i. And here, let's see if we can get a better, better look. Um, and it is a DSLR. And it has the 18 to 35 millimeter lens. I think that's what's on there, or maybe 18 to 55 and I don't have any special lens or anything on there. That's the kit lens. And it's a really nice camera, produces really great pictures and really nice video quality as well. Um, the only downside though is that it has a recording limit in video, like 12 or so minutes if you're, if you're recording in 1080p, 30 frames per second, which is kind of lame because I like to use it for a lot longer recording sessions and stuff like that. But you know, what can you do? It's a DSLR for photos, not solely for video. If you want that, you have to get a video camera, which I'm kind of looking for right now, but that's in the future. And so while we have the iPad out as a kind of reference monitor, I guess, it's kind of weird. Um, it's the camera even though I wrote right way, I think it is. And so while we have it out, let's take a look at the tripod. Um, that might be kind of hard to see, but this is the Pro Vista 7518 tripod from Davis and Sanford. I shared this um, in my kind of what I got for Christmas video when I got this like two or three months ago. Um, and it has a FM18 fluid head and heavy duty 75 millimeter claw ball, double strut, three section tripod, perfect for field, studio, educational, or industrial applications for video cameras and mini DVs weighing up to 18 pounds. And so, yeah, it's really nice. I still got to do a full review on it. Um, it has two arms, tripod arms, where you can like move it around for nice, nice and smooth pans. Fluid head's really nice. And it's just a really nice tripod. I have no idea if I'm getting that. I guess I'm not if the, if the iPad's not on camera. But um, I'm definitely gonna be doing a review on that. You'll be able to see it better in that video. I just wanna kinda show it off somehow in this video. And so I said I was referencing a monitor and that is because I have a monitor that I can actually look at. It's the Lilliput monitor. I'll put a link for all this stuff down on Amazon. Um, here it is. Can you see it? You're probably seeing like infinite me in the camera. It's probably kind of weird, but this is what it is. Um, it's just a nice little monitor that, oh, it's sliding around that you can use to monitor yourself. Oh, fancy that. And I uh, saw MKBHD had it and I checked it out on Amazon for a pretty good price. And I decided might as well pick it up because I've been wanting something so I can look at myself, see am I in the frame or not. Because looking at the tiny little viewfinder for the T3i from far away kind of gets annoying. And you can never tell how much headroom you actually have because everything just blends in. But it's a nice pickup. And so that's one of the things I use on a daily basis whenever I am recording videos. And so now let's talk about audio. And you might see this microphone right here. It's the Blue Spark, and you can really just see the back of it. You can't see the front of it. And I have reviews for most of these things also, so I'll put those down in the description along with links to them on Amazon. I'll put the reviews with them. But I have reviewed this. This microphone is awesome. It's around 200 bucks, probably even less than that right now, I think. But this is a great mic um, for voiceovers, for vocals, for instruments, like guitars and stuff like that. It's just an all around really nice mic, gives you a nice, rich, warm sound. And I would definitely suggest it if you're looking for a, not really, I guess entry level XLR mic that is, you know, above something like a Blue Yeti or something like that. But it's a really nice microphone, really enjoy it. And I have that plugged into something you cannot really see, it's behind it and kind of below. It's the Alesis Multimix X4, and that is my USB monitor mixer type thing where I can change the input and the gain and all that kind of stuff for the microphones. And I can just like, master settings and headphone volume, all that stuff. I have that for a review as well, I'll put that in the description as well. And so that's all I really have in terms of um, computer audio set up with my computer. I also have the Rode video mic, which I'm using more often now. I'm using this with some of my Let's Plays because my TV isn't really close to my computer, so I can't really easily move my Blue Spark to capture my audio um, for my actual voice for my Let's Plays. And so what I use is the Rode video mic, which is a nice microphone. You know, it's a nice entry level mount on the top of your camera microphone. 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, it works with DSLRs, but there's some hissing, especially with Canon DSLRs, but that's a DSLR issue, not a Rode video mic issue. So be mindful of that. Um, and it doesn't have any onboard gain, so you can't boost the signal. Um, you can only boost it on the T3i or the DSLR, which is what gives you all that hiss and that noise. But I use this with the Tascam 
DR07 Mark II, and this is an audio recorder, and I used this a while back, but then I stopped using it and didn't really have a reason to use it, but now I'm starting to use it a lot more. I use it to record the sermons at church. I take uh, one of the outs from uh, my pastor's wireless receiver for his mic, plop it right in here, record it, direct to this. It works great. Um, really nice battery life. I haven't changed the battery since I, um, for, I don't know, probably two months. And I've been using it quite regularly, but the batteries are starting to show some wear, so I'm probably going to have to replace them sometime soon. Um, really nice. It has audio input for 3.5 millimeter jacks um, with mics, so it works with the Rode video mic. And it has an output. That way you can monitor it, monitor it with a pair of headphones or with um, some stereos or something like that. Um, it uses a micro SD card. There's a slot right there. USB, you can also connect it to USB and get the, your files off it like that. Um, pretty easy to use interface. You can control the input and the output gains and all kinds of stuff. But I really use these two together. They're kind of like, you know, Mario and Luigi. They make a good pair. And so they come in really good use whenever you're trying to record something. Um, I don't know, for an interview or something like that. It's just a very a useful thing to have a video or an audio recorder like this in your possession as a creator. Now, something else that I recently got for my camera or for really any camera is the Bezcore or Basecore, however you say it, motorized tripod head. And now this is an interesting little device. And we're certainly not little actually. I mean, it's interesting because it's a motorized tripod head and I don't have enough batteries. I think two of the batteries fell out. Yeah, only two batteries. Um, but what you can do is turn this thing on. It can be battery or AC adapter powered and you can get really smooth pans. I did a review with this, showed some test footage. Definitely check it out if you're looking for something motorized to get some smooth pans and just control your camera just easily with a remote control. But I use this at my church um, whenever we have a sermon or something to just you know, follow the pastor or really just anything you want to record anybody, um, just tracking them. Very smooth, very easy with a controller with that. Um, something else that I use is just a bunch of little tripods. I mean, I have a little desk tripod, a little travel tripod. And then I also got some brackets. I have this L bracket I got off Amazon. I think it's Autorama. I think that's the brand. There's like 15,000 of them. Um, but it's pretty sturdy. You know, it's metal. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. It has two cold shoe mounts on it. And uh, I wish the threads were a little bit longer on it, but that's okay. Uh, it gets the job done. And I have this Obteka mount, which you can kind of carry like this. Like here's your handle. You put the camera in here. This is nice if you want to get some lower shots. Um, that way you're not like bent over holding your camera awkwardly. You can just carry this and get some nice smooth shots like that. And then the last thing I have, and I figured I include this since it's what I use on a regular basis recording um, Wii U stuff. And that's the Elgato Game Capture HD. And that's what I use to capture Wii U stuff. And I'm going to be trying some other stuff out with it eventually. But I also use um, Bandicam to capture gaming stuff. And I use Adobe Premiere to edit most of my stuff. 90% of everything, 95 actually. I only use Sony Vegas if I have some weird file types and that don't work friendly with Adobe Premiere. And I just got this too, I guess I'll mention it. It's just a little SD card case. It was like six bucks off Amazon. Flip it open, put your SD card in, close it up. Works with mini SD cards too or micro, whatever you call them. And so I think that's it. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, I'll put everything with the Amazon links down in the description below. If I, have a, if I have a review for it, I'll put that in the description below as well. You can check all that stuff out. Um, that's pretty much what I use and I'm looking at everything that I had laying here I mean, here's a little remote that I used to press record. I guess that's important. This was like four bucks off Amazon um, Oh, yeah, my lights I have I use Julius studio lights and I'll put a link for that as well in the description I got them off eBay for 110 bucks pretty good deal for three soft boxes with four lights each makes 12 lights That's pretty good for a communication major. That was easy math and so that's pretty much everything I have in terms of video equipment. Let me know what you guys use down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of my video equipment. Um, I know this was a semi-requested video, and so hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Leave it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for more videos from me, and check out all my social links. They are all in the description below. And so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I think I got everything. I think I got everything.